today we'll be checking about this clock we are in Acura of 8320 Neo and this is uh, the standard clock which is fixed in 320 family uh, so let us go in detail this clock is normally used for the pilot or for the maintenance for keeping the time record normally the watch it will be showing you the time in UTC universal time for the chronometer the top side the top side is for chronometer this will be keeping it is like a stopwatch and it will be showing you in minutes and seconds the minutes and seconds okay so for starting the chronometer we have to press this push button chrono once you click it it will be start with the seconds okay it will always show you in minutes and seconds so this part is normally used for less timing so for stopping this we have to again push it it will stop the two points will go that means it is right now in stop condition again we can restart it by pressing it the push button again it will start on the last uh, stop timing so it will it can go till 59 minutes so we'll push it again to stop again we can n number of time we can just start it and stop it so if you want to reset it we'll just stop it and then we'll press this reset button so once we press this reset button it will go off means now it is the chronometer is off so the next part we'll talk about the date and time later come to this et et means elapsed time so this is the unit is in hours and minute this normally used for keeping the large uh, unit of time means uh, in hours and minutes it will not show in seconds so for starting this you can see this uh, arrow key it is like a toggle key it is three position run stop and reset right now it is in stop position for starting the elapsed time we will just take this arrow to the run run stop okay so it is already running now when these two points are seen means the clock is running the elapsed time is running so the seconds is not seen so we can wait for one minute and then the zero will turn into one let us wait the minutes can go up to 59 and this hours can go up to 99 because there is only two digit one we cannot see so it will go till 99 hours okay so here you can see the one minute is completed like this it will keep on going to 59 minute and once 59 60 it will turn to zero and here we will get one hour to stop it we have to just click take it the toggle switch to stop position the colon will go that means the this elapsed time is stopped now now for resetting it we have to take this toggle switch to reset uh, reset position now just remember this is spring loaded we cannot leave it to reset once you just take it to the reset once the clock gone we have to leave it so it will automatically come to stop position so i'll show you like this see when i leave it will come to stop position okay so this is about elapsed time so let us talk about this timing uh, the blue marking is the unit so let's talk about this the first part it is in hours this is in minutes and this is in seconds okay so right now it is showing you the time which is 6 hours 35 minutes and the seconds keep on counting here you can see the same toggle switch like this but it has got it has also got three position right now it is in int that means it is internal timing okay so it is in internal timing means it's connected to the hot bus and it is recording its own time okay it is showing its own timing when we take this to the gps then the clock is also getting input from the gps data so whatever gps time in utc it, is, uh, it will be there it will be the clock will be receiving that data and it will be showing you the gps timing so 
we can see the two timing the gps and the internal clock timing normally it will be synchronized it will be same we can uh, keep on both the position and this set is for setting the timing if we replace the clock or we replace the battery and there is no power somehow the internal time goes off so we have to set it to the utc so we have to keep in this position i'll show you later on now for checking the date here you can see the date written so for checking the date on the same display we'll just press this push button okay so it is like we have to press and hold for checking the date now it is showing you in the month it is october 10th in month here it will show you the date it is 08 8th of october and the year is 2020 only two digit is shown the last two digit of uh, the year 2020 okay so once you leave this it will go back to your the utc timing so let's talk about the setting of the clock we can set timing as well as the date normally after the battery replacement or after clock replacement we have to set the proper timing and date so here you can see the toggle switch you can see the set written okay so we'll take this toggle switch to set okay now you can see the minutes is blinking so we can change the minute now for changing the minute we have to take this push button it is also a rotary switch so clockwise anti clockwise it can rotate I'll just set it to 41. Right now the timing is 41. Then for coming over here for changing the hour, I'll just push it so it will come to hour. Right now the time is six. So just for showing you, I'll just rotate it. You can set the timing. It will go till 23. Then again back to zero. So right now the time is six. Now once I click this, it will go to the date. date setting so just let me press this yeah now this is date it is year you can set the year now it is 20 i'll click again to come over here month okay then once again clicking it will come to your date you can change the date anyhow okay so once this completed you will click it again So now everything is done. You have to take this switch to the internal mode. Okay. So the clock has taken our setting, and now the clock has started. So just see to it that you have the correct time. Now uh, for uh, setting it, I got late. It's already 42 right now. So I'll keep on 42, and I'll just take it in internal back. So right now it is correct position. We can also take timing through GPS. So once the aircraft take the date data via GPS, it will show you the GPS timing. Normally it is same. So we'll just keep it on internal right now, and we'll leave the clock. So here you can see this is ambient light sensor. It will detect the ambient light, and it will automatically adjust the brightness of your clock. So other than clock we also have time display on our lower ecam this is the permanent time display 7 hours and 14 minute it will never go off irrespective of the page you select the time will always be shown over here on the lower ecam and other than this we also have the chronometer which we can start for captain it is on left side glass shield panel and for first officer it is on right so once we click this we'll get the display over here on the nd lower left corner so for starting the chrono we'll just press it once and we got the display over here in minutes and second okay so for stopping it we'll press it again so this chrono we cannot restart we cannot restart this chrono once i press this it will go blank okay 
so the chrono is blank likewise in the clock we can restart the chrono i pause it once i click again it will restart from the same timing but in this glass shield chrono and the display it will not restart it will just give you the same timing so once i click on stop it will stop there and when i press it third time it will go back to zero means blank the reset okay Thank you.